This guide shows you how to create a simple income and expenditure spreadsheet to keep track of your finances in Excel. First of all, you need to open Excel and then open a blank workbook. Then we need to create some headings. So move your mouse over the cell A1 just here and left click once and we'll type in their date. Then we might want to just move the cell over a bit to give us a bit more room. So just move your mouse between A and B and left click once and hopefully if you've got your mouse in the right position it should turn into a double headed arrow like shown on the screen. So when you've got it in the right position hold your left mouse button down and drag it slightly to the right. There we go. Okay now we need to left click into the B1 cell and we want to type in there description. Okay, and same again, we need to move the uh, the cell or the, the column out a little bit to give us room to type some things in the description column. So move your mouse between B and C, left click once, the mouse should turn into a double headed arrow, then hold your finger down on the left mouse button, drag it towards the right and drag it a fair way to give us some space to type some things in the description column. So move your mouse into the C1 cell, left click once and we'll put in there money in okay and then we just move that out a little bit so again move your mouse between c and d left click once and then once you've got your double headed arrow hold your finger down on the left mouse button and just drag it out a little bit that's it there and then we left click into d1 and we type money out and then once again we just want to move this out a bit so move your mouse between d and e left click once you should have a double headed arrow Hold the left mouse button down and drag it out to the right a little bit, like so. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect. The next thing we need to do <coughs> is type in some data. For instance, let's type in the date. So let's just type in the date here. And then in description, let's just call that starting balance. And in money in, we'll put our starting balance. And let's say our starting balance is 1,300 and 95 that's great now what we need to do is we need to uh, start typing in our income and expenses let's say right okay on the 2nd of December 2018 I had a gas bill of and this will be in the money out column of 50 say and on the Fourth of the twelfth, twelfth two thousand eighteen, I had oh sorry oh four one two two o one eight, and it wants to it wants to for some reason in this field uh, actually put the uh, the actual date in, but it doesn't matter. Okay, we can sort that out in a second. Right. Okay. So I got a water bill in. So water bill, and that was. 35 in there and then perhaps on the 5th of December I got paid that would be money in so say I got paid 1200 now what we need to do now is we need to create some total fields at the bottom here so I'm just going to type in the left here in, in cell A7 total and we're going to type a, um, a formula into this which will basically add up everything that's in this column here. Follow this, this formula, we left click once into the, uh, the cell C7 and we type equals and in capitals the word sum then open brackets and we type indirect open bracket again, speech mark, and it's column C, and we're starting at two, so we type C2, colon, C, and those are capitals. Speech marks, the and sign, and then row in capitals. Open bracket, close bracket, minus one, close bracket, close bracket. So there you go, that's the formula we need to put in. Now, if you're an ex expert with Excel, you might be thinking, well, why don't you just do a simpler formula, formula C2 
to uh, uh, colon C5, which we'll just add up there. Well, basically, if we want to add more rows later on, this formula here takes into consideration any rows that we've added um, and, uh, and recalculates for us. Let's just do that. So there we go. That's given us a, a calculation here. And the next thing we need to do is we need to calculate these or add up these cells just here for the money out. So once again, we left click into D7 and type equals capitals sum, then open brackets and capitals in direct open brackets, speech mark D2, that's a capital D, colon D, speech marks and sign row in capitals, open bracket, close bracket, minus one, close bracket, close bracket, and then press enter or return on the keyboard, and there you go. That's now totaled up the money out column. As I say, this does mean that if we add rows later on, it will still uh, calculate the money in and the money out and take into consideration any new rows we've added. Um, if we didn't do it that way, then we'd have to rejig this sum every time. That's the reason for that. What we want over here is we want a, a balance field. So if we just type balance there and then click into G7 and uh, what we want to do is we want to we type a formula in again so equals in capitals type sum open brackets C7 minus D7 close brackets and then press enter or return on the keyboard and there we go that gives us a total subtracting 85 from 2000 and 2,595. I'm just going to correct this date here where it says 4DEC. So to do that, if yours starts playing up like this, we just right click on the uh, the troublesome field, go down to format cells and we want to click date. OK, and then click OK. And there you go. That's uh, brought it back. So, OK, so let's just finish off filling this out. So, uh, OK, that was my wages going in there. And we want to add another column because we've run out of room to add more things. So all we do is we left click the number six there, okay, and then right click and then left click insert. So on the 6th of the 12th, 2018, uh, I had a phone bill. So a phone bill and that was 2450. There you go. As you can see here, that's added the 2450. To the the money out column and it's also deducted it from our balance there so uh, we can see how much we've got left and we can keep going like that we can keep like right uh, left clicking on the uh, on the empty row at the bottom above total and right click and then go insert and uh, we can type there you go, 7th of the 12th 2018 and perhaps I got some birthday money. That was a money in, so say I got 85 in birthday money. And there you go, that's added the total up there and uh, adjusted the balance as well. There you go, and then if you wanna save it, you just go up to File, Save As, and uh, you can choose where you save it. I mean, most of the time you wanna save it in Documents. It'll ask you to give it a name. Let's call that um, Expenses December. 2018 and hit save so I've, I've chose to save it in documents so I click save remember that and uh, if we want to load that back up again I can click on the yellow folder down here or if I haven't got a yellow folder down here click on the start button and click this folder here and then we click on documents on the left hand side and there we go we've got expenses December 2018 I just double click that it'll open up Excel and uh, there you go, it'll open up our expenses. So there you go, that's just a quick slapdash way of doing an income and expenditure spreadsheet in Excel. Hope this guide helps, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel, just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.